So the doctor said, if this is my thermometer, where's my pen? Hey YouTubers, what's going on? And welcome to yet another unboxing. Unlike my other videos where I show you uh, unboxing of Loot Crate, this one's going to be Marvel Collector's Core. Now, the reason I started collecting Loot Crate is because obviously it has a bunch of cool shit for geeks, nerds, and neighbor, uh, neighbors. Not, not your fucking neighbors. Well, they can get one if they want. But gamers is what I'm trying to say. Excuse me. And with that, they also they have a whole bunch of uh, DC stuff and a little bunch of uh, Marvel stuff, which always gave me a major nerd on. And they would also throw in uh, every once in a while an exclusive Funko Pop, which my wife is an avid collector of. It gives her a major fucking nerd on. Now, it seems that Marvel and Funko, the makers of those pops, uh, have joined forces and they have their own mystery box, which is this right here, Marvel Collector's Core. Now, this one is also themed, all the boxes are themed. This one is Secret Wars, which is an ongoing comic book series right now that's going on. Um, they also uh, promise to have at least one exclusive pop. So, Marvel, I'm, I'm all down for it. Funko Pops, my wife is all down for it, so I thought maybe we can both benefit from it. Now, straight off, the box is fucking huge. And as you can see, on the very top, you have the female Thor, which is fucking awesome. So I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna waste any more time. I'm just gonna go ahead and rip into the box. Shit, if I can get into it. Okay, here you go. And the box itself, if you can see, it's uh, comic, kind of a comic book themed. Um, obviously, it's Marvel, so it's got a, a whole bunch of panels. Uh, no words, but it's a whole bunch of cool fucking pictures. Okay, that's all right. And right off the bat, inside, we got two things waiting for us. Push this back a bit. If y'all can see that, it's a patch. And it has the new Captain America. And in the comic books, the new series, uh, this is um, the Falcon. And he became Captain America. And you have a pin. Let me see if I can focus in on this so you guys can get a good look. There it is. Marvel Collector's Core, which has nonetheless Iron Man. All right, let's go ahead and see what else is in here. Son of a bitch, this is huge. Welcome to the Marvel Collector Core. Well, thank you. See, you know, the, the box is so nice and so friendly. Look at that. How can you be mean to this box? Wow. Here we go. Right off the bat, we got two Funko Pops in here. My wife is going to have a major nerd on. She's a fucking uh, nerdgasm. All right. That's what's all in here. Let's go ahead and flip open and let's see what we got. Okay. Starting off with, yeah, it's a t-shirt. All right. Let me, yeah, t-shirt. Secret Wars. Let me rip open this sucker and give you guys a better look. Okay. Here we go. Here's a t-shirt. And there we go. Let me give you a, see if I can give you a better view. Okay. There's a t-shirt. Secret Wars. And looks like you got Iron Man, the Captain America, Spider-Man, and the female Thor. And they're all in the Pops kind of theme, which is, oh, that's kind of cool. They kind of went uh, all out with the Pops theme, didn't they? But, okay, that's a pretty cool t-shirt. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love t-shirts, so you can give me whatever, and I'm going to be fine with it. Okay, let's see. And we got a comic book. Sweet. Bored and bagged. Let's see. Comic book is Secret Wars, the Marvel Collector's Core. I'm sure this is exclusive, number one. And you have Female Thor, again, in the Funko Pop theme. They're really going out with this Funko Pop theme. Okay, and I guess lastly, because I don't see any other room in there for anything else, we've got two exclusive Funko Pops. Now, how do I know exclusive? I have no idea, but that's what they tell me. Um, if they only put something that says it's an exclusive, but I'm just going to take their word for them because that's what they say on their website when you're going to order one. This one is Female Thor. It's not really female Thor, it's just Thor. Now, about female Thor, I'm just going to call her female Thor for now, that way we don't get confused. Uh, about female Thor, okay, in the comic books, it seems that o Thor Odinson has been deemed unworthy to wield Mjolnir, which is uh, the hammer. However, uh, one person was worthy, 
and uh, they picked up the hammer, they possessed the power of the thunder god Thor, and here you go, it happened to be a female. Now, the identity of this female is, and spoiler alert, if you don't want to hear, just rewind the tape until I pick up this box over here. The, the identity of female Thor is none other than Jane Foster. That's right, Thor's, uh, Thor's uh, lady. Thor's woman. And in the comic books, uh, it seems that uh, Jane Foster has uh, come down with cancer. And for some reason, she picked up the hammer. She possessed the power of Thor. When she's possessing the power of Thor, her cancer is gone. No more cancer. However, every time she transforms back to human state, she gets the cancer once again. And this time, every time she transfers to human state, it, uh, it, the cancer is a lot more aggressive. So it's killing her. But yet, when she's Thor, the cancer is gone. But as far as pops go, this is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, my wife is going to love this one, especially since it's a woman. But uh, very awesome. Let's move on to the next one. The next one is, I believe it's the Black Spider-Man. It's uh, Spider-Man uh, Miles Morales. It says here somewhere. It should. Oh, there we go in quotations. Miles Morales. And uh, this one was a character of black and Hispanic descent for Spider-Man. Uh, I think when it started off, it uh, was uh, it was it was not part of the main mainstream Marvel universe, but I think now it has been. But anyway, regardless of that, this is pretty cool. And here you go. Here's your two exclusives: the uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales and the female Thor of Secret Wars. Very nice. And again, inside the box, you get a bunch of panels, and you got your homeboy Thanos right there, which is pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, here you go. Uh, I'm very happy with this with this box. Uh, the T-shirt's awesome. The comic book is awesome. You know me. I'm a co comic book nerd, so I'm gonna love it. And the pops are awesome. I'm even gonna fucking start collecting them, maybe. Uh, and my wife, I think, is gonna love these. Uh, if, if if this is all they're gonna do, nothing but Marvel and pops, then I'm totally in, and I can't wait for the next box. And I hope neither can you. So until next time, guys. Peace out.